at six Rosenwald schools in Shelby County. And we, uh, we have two existing structures uh, that uh, are still present and research is still to be done. Uh, there's hearsay that the Ollie Branch Rosenwald School on Zerry Mill Road has some remains in the woods near the Donovan farm. And uh, I haven't gotten permission from the landlord to go out and actually explore that to see if that's the case. But uh, we, we do uh, have hard evidence of, of the uh, Scott Station Rosenwald School because we have one of the students here the day that attended the Scott's Station Rosenwald School. And this is just north of, of uh, what uh, the landmark Claudia Sanders Dinner House today. Uh, but uh, I'd like to uh, uh, welcome um, uh, Maureen Ashby and her, her ancestors were one of the first groups of African Americans to own land, perhaps in Montclair. And uh, I'd like her to come forward and share with you about the Scott Station Rosenwald School. She got the water from a well that had one of those turns uh, and she filled the, uh, she would fill the water coolers. And each morning before we got to school, it had a spout in front with a push button open it. Sometimes the guys would go there, push the button, put the hand would drink the water. <laughs> <laughs> My parents, was a cook four little cups, <laughs> three of us, <laughs> and they packed it in our lunch bucket. <laughs> so we all shared this one little cup, and uh, we took a drinking cup from home in our lunch bucket, and the lunch bucket resembles a paint bucket of today. It had a handle and push top on it. You remember that, don't you? Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and we were all the family members and had lunch packed in this one bucket. And my sister was the oldest, so she distributed to my brother and I. Our lunch bucket was a molasses bucket. I, I just described that. Food from the three in my family. My sister was eight years older than I am. She was in the eighth grade when I was in the first grade. And she had one classmate. Her name was Sarah Tinsley. Some of you all may remember her. And they would help us, the lower grades. And then they would also grade papers. And they would kind of look after the younger ones do the, and help them with their work. Then my family moved to Beachdale, Kentucky before I started second grade. And I started second grade at Lincoln Bottle in Simpsonville. Anybody familiar with Lincoln Bottle? It's a lumber company on the grounds. That ground is owned by Lincoln Institute. Lincoln Institute built Lincoln Bottle. But then when the buses started, we started going to Montclair. We had two teachers in Montclair, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Turner. It was different there. Mr. Turner taught the upper grades, and Mrs. Turner taught the lower grades. I went there until a new school was built in Montclair. Anybody remember Montclair? At first they had two rooms, then they added the upstairs. <laughs> and that's where I graduated from, was from Montclair. <laughs> 
and Mr. I say the Mr. Mr. Turner called in my class. And after Boston, uh, kids came from Henry County and from Buck Creek to Montclair. We were also picked up by a bus. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no more waiting for Daddy to take us or walk when it was warm. <laughs> okay, that's about the whole story of my school years before I went to Lincoln Institute. I know everybody knows about Lincoln Institute. <laughs> we have a, another student uh, from uh, a Rosenwald school, and that's Theodore Todd from the Buck Creek Rosenwald School. And uh, Mr. Todd, would you come and share something about your experiences at Buck Creek? Thank you, thank you. Uh, we had good times, good times, good times, good times. Uh, I can remember from a little boy, you know, everybody mostly lived on farms, you know, so we all went to school at Buck Creek. Uh, a great classmate of mine is here today, R.C. Jones. Uh, we, we had some good times there and enjoyed ourselves. It's, it's the best end. Davis here, and uh, we, we just uh, we closed could, the time. But we I couldn't thought, wait for recess, was, was, remember? Huh? We couldn't wait for recess. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. But I want to tell you, we had uh, two teachers, too, Mr. Monroe Miles and Mrs. Miles. Uh, Mabel Miles was our, our teacher. But, uh, you know, uh, our teacher there then, she, they didn't play. They didn't play. Uh, I remember one time I went to school and uh, we both went uh, reading a certain amount of uh, lessons and uh, didn't read. And uh, Miss Mabel, she sat that hand in behind you. They didn't spare the rock. They didn't spare the rock. But you know, uh, I, I've been looking back over how well we was blessed. Uh, here we was uh, uh, at the Rosemary School, no lunch room around, and we had to uh, bring our lunch. We was uh, fortunate enough to ride a school bus to, to school, but uh, uh, out, out of all the inconvenience that, that uh, we had, uh, no bathrooms around, so we had uh, two bathrooms, the girls and, and the boys, outhouses, and uh, we had no no water. We had to walk. I, I guess made about what was it? About 150 feet or 200 feet over to that well of the church. Yeah. Probably about 200 feet to that from the school to the church. We went over there to give water uh, out the well and and everything. But uh, we we was blessed. Mm -hmm. But one thing I can remember that early every morning before we started uh, any class, we had devotion. We we had devotion. Uh, we had. Uh, we came and brought the uh, Bibles, and we, we had these Bibles every year stripped out, and each one of us had to read a Bible verse. Each one of us had every morning, they, they, they made that. And one of our favorite Bible verses that you hear more than anybody was saying, Jesus will. <laughs> so, so, so you can memorize that. <laughs> one, one, of the, one of the next ones you may hear that uh, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You know, in the beginning, with God, we're with God. Uh, these short Bible verses you hear quoted. But I, I thought about the classes we had. We always started off early in the morning with like reading, and then we had our. Uh, arithmetic and we have our uh, uh, geography and then we had uh, uh, a little copywriting book that we took every day just before the bus come probably around 2 o'clock or 2 30 we had the copywriting that's where uh, brother RC and my, myself and somebody asked us where do we learn our uh, writing from membership we try to learn how to outwrite each other yeah, remember that? <laughs> Who could write the fanciest? Oh. You know, I hear people today give me a remarks, but I have nothing to break on. I just thank the Lord. It was our teacher that trained us and taught us how to do that. Then I, I was fortunate enough not only to go to the school, school, but I was also in the Gold Mary School in Montclair. Uh, I, I went there for my seventh and eighth grade, and that's where I graduated out of grade school. Then I was fortunate enough to go to Lincoln Institute. But I was just so thankful for 
look back over the roots of things, how well we was to be in an African-American school. Uh, then today I look at how well we are blessed and the trouble we got in the land. Well, thank you. Amen. Amen. I want to thank those that uh, invited me to be a portion of this. I'm grateful to being a uh, recipient of the Rosewall school system. I was blessed to grow up in Shelby County, just down the road in Finchville, on the farm of Ellick B. and Gilbert Mitchell Beach. 1,500 acre farm, 1,500 acre of playground. Every <laughs> was the best in the world. And I'm grateful to have grown up here in the city and run the streets. Grateful to be married 61 years. Amen. I'm grateful for a lot of things. Amen. Now, Lord, don't move the mountain, but give me the strength to climb. And Lord, don't take away my stumbling blocks, but lead me all around. Oh, Lord, don't Give me the strength to climb. And Lord, don't take away my stumbling blocks, but lead me all around. I don't bother nobody. I try to treat everybody the same, but every time I turn my back, somebody scandalizes my name. Oh, Jesus, don't move the mountain. But give me the strength to climb. And Lord, don't take away my stumbling blocks, but lead me all around. Now when my friends all slay me, the mean thing they will try to do. But Lord, don't touch them. But within their heart, make them give their life to you. Now, Jesus, don't move the mountain. But give me the strength to climb. And Lord, don't take away my stumbling block, but lead me all around.